maintenance and troubleshooting. Reduce downtime and extend the life of your investment with this quick guide. This video consists of two subjects, maintenance and troubleshooting. Maintenance is divided into the following three sections. After each use, after 10 hours of use, after 40 hours of use. After cutting, run the saw for at least 15 seconds with the water on to flush slurry and debris from the diamond chain, guide bar, and drive sprocket. Wash concrete slurry from the saw assembly. After each usage, thoroughly flush the starter housing assembly with water. Avoid getting any water in the carburetor or exhaust system. If water enters the exhaust port, point the guide bar tip down and pull the starter handle several times to expel water from the muffler. After cleaning the saw, spray the entire saw body, diamond chain, guide bar, and drive sprocket with lightweight oil. Using lightweight oil on the saw will minimize rust and help reduce slurry buildup. The chain tensioner can become clogged with concrete slurry during cutting. After each use, thoroughly flush the chain tensioner with water and apply a liberal amount of grease. Inspect and tighten all fasteners as necessary. The drive sprocket is a wear item and should be replaced every two to three diamond chains. A rim sprocket system consists of a clutch cup with spline adapter and a rim sprocket. When the rim sprocket wears out, it is the only part that needs to be replaced. The clutch cup with spline adapter is a wear item that needs replacement after three to five rim sprockets have been used. Check the starter cord for fraying. Replace if necessary. The air filter is made from a nylon micro mesh and an internal spit back screen. Both must be kept clean for the engine to operate properly. If the saw is not reaching full RPM, most likely one or both of the air filters are dirty. Replace air filter when dirty. The spit back screen should be free of holes and be white in color. Clean with mild solvent or gasoline and dry with high pressure air. If spit back screen is dirty, the saw will not reach full RPM. It is common for concrete slurry to get inside the starter housing assembly during cutting. This can cause the starter falls to stick and not engage when the rope is pulled. Lubricate the starter poles by spraying lightweight oil into the starter housing through the vents. A worn or fouled spark plug can cause loss of power, difficulty starting, or rough idle. Remove the spark plug and clean with wire brush. Check the electrode gap. Change the spark plug and adjust the electrode to the proper gap. Check the fuel filter located inside the fuel tank. Clean or replace if clogged. In this section we will discuss five probable causes for gas saw troubleshooting. Each of the causes are divided into the following. Identification, cause, fix, and in some cases, extra notes. Five probable causes if saw is reported not able to start or won't run well. Diagnose in the following order. Identification. A gradual decrease in power or loss of full throttle. Cause. The air filter or the pre-filter is dirty and or clogged. Fix. Remove and clean or replace air filter and or pre-filter. Notes. A dirty filter will contribute significantly to engine flooding, spark plug buildup, and or low compression failures. Identification. The starter rope pulls freely without noticeable resistance. Cause. Concrete slurry will get inside the starter housing assembly during cutting, causing the starter poles to stick and not engage when rope is pulled. Fix. Remove starter assembly and clean or replace starter and lube with lightweight penetrating oil. For starter assembly repair or installation, refer to owner's manual. Notes. Cutting with saw in horizontal position with flywheel down accelerates slurry collection. Immediately wash starter assembly after use in this mode. Clean or replace the appropriate starter cover assembly components when you encounter a starter with a frayed starter cord, 
broken rewind spring, or other mechanical damage. Identification. Smell of fuel and or a wet fuel-soaked spark plug after removal. Cause. Commonly caused by leaving the choke on after first ignition spark. May also be caused by excessive rope pulls. Fix. Remove spark plug and pull rope to discharge excess fuel from cylinder. Air dry spark plug or replace with correct spark plug. Identification. No obvious fuel issues and a spark plug not showing visible spark after removal and testing for spark. Cause. The spark plug is most likely dirty or contaminated. A secondary cause is an improper spark plug gap. Fix. Remove spark plug and clean or replace. Regap spark plug. Refer to owner's manual for more details. If no spark is visible or if spark is weak, yellow in color, replace ignition coil. Notes. Test method for visible spark. Always ensure ignition switch on. Remove plug and connect the plug lead to a new spark plug. Place plug on top of cylinder to ground and pull engine several times by pulling the recoil starter. A healthy ignition should produce a strong blue spark. Identification. The starter rope pulls upward with very little resisting force from piston. If possible, this should be verified with a compression gauge or by an ICS servicing dealer. Cause. Piston ring scoring, wear, or stuck piston rings. Fix. Contact ICS Servicing Dealer or Factory Service Center for evaluation. Notes. If compression is checked with a compression gauge, a reading below 125 PSI indicates piston damage. New saw compression is 160 PSI. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about ICS. If you have further questions or require additional information, please visit our website at icsbestway.com.